We all dream of finding a specific person. For some people, they already have somebody in mind, or a specific person could be someone who has traits that you specifically want in a relationship. But merely thinking and visualizing that person isn't enough. I'm going to show you what it would take to find, attract, and manifest the right person you dreamed about in your life. Namaste, Sacred Masters. I'm Dr. Iwas Ukehi, Shadow Work NLP Manifestation Coach, and I'm here to help you with your shadow work and manifesting questions, as well as give you tips on new ways you can practice your self-growth. So don't forget to subscribe for Grow Your Numbers on Tuesdays, pick a card shadow work on Thursdays, and shadow work manifesting tips on Sundays so that you don't miss anything that can improve your life and find your light in the darkness. Now, I am making this video because there's a lot of talk about attracting a specific person in your life. Who is and how do you attract this person? For many of you, you might already have a good idea about this person, so this video also works in manifesting a relationship with said person. Now, most videos on the internet about specific persons are all about meditating and visualizing this person and attracting them into your life. But there is more to it, and I'll explain in a little bit. First, I want to make sure that you know who that specific person is. Oftentimes, we think we know this person, but in actuality, they are not complete. What do I mean by that? When we are attracted to someone, the most common thing that happens to us is confirmation bias. This is when we only choose to see good things in people first and ignore the red flags. But this video isn't about that. I want to show you how to be specific in your SP so make sure you at least do the following before you attract your SP. So follow through with me first, then I will get to attracting your SP. Your SP should be somebody who embodies traits in them that are suitable for your life, dreams, goals, and desires. They should have what I call relationship green flags, such as self-responsibility, supports your personal growth, practices self-care, is self-reflective, have a long-standing friendship established with you, has empathy, vulnerability, meets you spiritually, has self-sufficiency, has healthy hobbies, communicates openly, and has healthy boundaries. With all these green flags in mind, you can also combine it with red flags, such as you don't want them to be a smoker, alcoholic, or drug abuser. For some of you, find it okay to put things such as he cannot have a waistline more than 34 inches, even if you're materialistic, it is okay. This list is only for you. Another way you can hone in on the specific person in your dreams is through going back to your past and looking at all your exes. Find out what traits that attracted you about them first. Ignore the bad and toxic ones. And include those traits on your list. Was it the wonderful sex that you enjoy? Put it on the list. Is it because how empathetic and gentle they were? Put it on the list. Sometimes we focus so much about how terrible our exes are that we forget they give us something as well, which is to teach us what works and what doesn't in future relationships. For any of you who are still obsessed over your ex, list down the reasons why. Add them to your SP list. I I'm going to show you things are going to get better from here on out. Your ex may be the one, or he or she may not. We're about to find out. The more clear and concise your list, the more likely your SP is going to be the one. So, how do you actually go about attracting this person to your life? Or at least attract a literal person that you already know that is perhaps just a friend now, an ex-lover or somebody you met online? The trick is, you don't focus on their 3D reality. What do I mean by that? You see, too often we fall in love with people, but people change. They come and go. Instead of trying to manifest people, manifest their energies instead. For example, I am attracted to energies of peace, gentleness, kindness, and empathy rather than a person who has this much money in the bank or has a certain type of body. Focus on energies instead because then you are attracting their souls rather than their physical shell. One of the ways to do it is to get into a meditative state and first imagine this person. 
Imagine your 3D self in front of you. After you do that, I want you to start feeling within you how it is that they make you feel. Do their kindness and care attract you? What about them makes you feel attracted to them? You really sit with these energies and your feelings and imagine their 3D shell disappear until all that's left is their energies. This is the real reason and the only way you attract them to you through their energies, their vibrations. You want to sit with these vibrations and be able to feel it wrap around you. Remember, people fall in love with you not by what you do, but how you make them feel. It works the other way around. You have to know how they make you feel. Through this practice, you are literally giving the universe a homing missile on where to find an SP. If it's an actual person, the universe will know which parts of that person you can resonate with. Because as I said many times, the universe works through vibrations and oftentimes we work through the physical 3D reality. We are both talking in different languages. You might see a person as handsome or pretty, but the universe cannot put the two of you together through 3D material ways. The 3D world is merely just a projection. It's vibrations that the universe communicates with. So speak in the universe language, how they look is only just a reflection. One thing I want to make clear is that if you have an actual person you want to attract, don't limit yourself to that person. It's okay to use them right now as a measurement of what you want, but always remember to be open to somebody else better that might come along. Be thankful they exist because they're showing you what you want. Attaching your energy to somebody might limit you when the universe actually has somebody else better in mind. It is our ego to think that we know exactly what we want, which is oftentimes why we find ourselves in relationships which turn out to be toxic or that the person isn't right for us. Just another lesson to learn. Take what's good from it, release the negative, and move on. So remember, it is their energies you want to attract. What they do in the physical world is merely a reflection of the way they express this energy. But it's not all the time that they do that. Thus, you can avoid this whole wondering if they love me thing. Think about it. How many times have you been busy in your past relationship that you don't express enough how much you love a person? But that doesn't mean you don't love that person, right? When you connect energies, you don't feel a need to find validation from the things they do and the things they say because you're not looking at the 3D world for that validation. Rather, through energies, you know it within and you can feel it already. Also, people change, but their energies seldom do. People can love new things, take up new jobs, pick up new hobbies, but usually their energies remain the same. By connecting with their energies, you won't feel a need to force them to remain the same allowing them to grow and blossom into bigger and better spiritual beings as well. And by growing together, your energies are enmeshed together and the bond becomes bigger and stronger because the energies resonate, merge and blend together until it becomes one. This is why sex can be an important factor in a relationship because sex remains one of the most intimate ways that people exchange energies. It is a way that people connect with each other in a special way. Now, I know for some people, sex can be a very different thing. And instead of connecting with energies, they release energies. Do what you want, but you're missing out on a key ingredient if you do not see sex as a way to hold energy instead of releasing it. This is why for many people who have one night stands, they end up feeling alone and unfulfilled. Because when their energies entangle together, and then they release it after sex, they are also releasing some of their own energies as well, because they're all entangled together. They haven't discovered the joy of enjoying the moment and feeling their energy and partner's energy together in a perfect union for a moment in time. And that's why I said to meditate on their energies instead. Because in your stillness, you are able to be in the now, that same moment, remove any neediness and focus on their energies. The key brain structure in a study called the peringulate sulcus, PCS, a fold in part of the prefrontal cortex, shows that the brain cannot distinguish between reality and the imagination. 
through meditation and focusing on their energies, it expresses the same kind of connection as one would have during sexual intercourse as well. Of course, I do not mean physically, but the same energy that is shared when two people have sex. So remember, focus on their energies and not on their actions and looks. Although, it really does help if you are attracted to a person physically. But I can tell you when you experience what a person's energy is like and when it resonates with you, oftentimes, you won't have to worry about their looks or body at all. Besides, it is impossible to fall in love with every beautiful person you've seen. In fact, for every physically beautiful person I know, perhaps there is maybe one, if I'm lucky, I resonate with. Keep your energies open and guide the universe to what you want that actually makes you fulfilled and happy rather than following what society deems to be called a catch. There is no one person who is a catch for everybody. There is no one eligible bachelor. Different people have different needs. Don't let society tell you who's right for you. Only you can decide yourself. If you want me to do a guided meditation for this, comment below and I'll upload a video based upon this theory I just talked about. Otherwise, remember that you must be prepared for attracting love into your life. Clear out your blockages. Do some shadow work. Without clearing your blockages, even the right person with the right energy may be repelled by you instead. If you want to know about clearing blockages with love, take a look at this video, Shadow Work and Love, where I talk about clearing blockages to maximizing attracting love using shadow work. It's a crucial step that you don't want to miss. I'll see you in that video. Namaste.